Let's take a look at all the parameters you can set and adjust with the iComfort S30. Start by hitting the icon in the upper right hand corner and click the settings gear. Now we can see all of the settings that we can adjust, such as the Wi-Fi. In this example, you can see that we're not connected to the Wi-Fi. We could select the Wi-Fi network, find our router, log in, and connect. We can click on the name option and give our system a specific name. If we select the away option, we can now decide what set points we want the thermostat to default to when we're in the away mode. Currently, the heating is set to 62 and the cooling set to 84. Adjusting it is as simple as placing your finger on the dot and dragging it to a new set point. We can then set the feels like option, which takes a look at the outdoor temperature, the indoor temperature, and indoor humidity to display what the temperature in the house feels like. This enables the homeowner to not have to set multiple settings to run their humidifier, their dehumidifier, or their heating and air conditioning system. With feels like, we simply enable it and let the homeowner decide what they want the temperature in their home to feel like. We can select the fan button, which allows us to then adjust the amount of time we want the fan to run every single hour to circulate air throughout the home. Beneficial for filtration or bringing fresh air into the home through an HRV or an ERV device. Simply slide the time setting forward or backwards to increase or decrease the time. The heat and cool button allows us to decide what type of options we have for heating and cooling whether we have normal or comfort settings for heat pump. And this heat pump, if we want to add auxiliary heat, any safety precautions that we might want to know that would allow us to set up a message when the temperatures in the house become too high or too low. Perhaps we're concerned about pipes freezing when it gets extremely cold. So we might want to set the minimum temperature or the alert temperature to let us know when we're in danger of running into a freezing situation. Hitting the humidity button allows us to decide how we control the humidity, whether it's off, whether we add humidity control, we add dehumidification options, or both, and how we're going to control them, normal humidification or maximum humidification, and normal or maximum dehumidification or Climate IQ, which monitors the current conditions and automatically adjusts the humidity for more comfort. We can adjust dew point and then we can adjust our humidification set point from here as well. We can select the Harmony Zoning tab and we can view the names of each of the zones. Clicking on them allows us to see the name. Clicking on it again allows us to edit them. We can view the notifications, which tells us how long it'll take before our notification reminder to replace the filter, the UV light, the humidifier pad, pure air maintenance, or general system maintenance occurs. We can hit advanced settings, restart the system. We can pair the Smart Hub to our iComfort Dealer mobile app for mobile commissioning. We can view the Dealer Control Center for advanced settings. We can click on the General tab to see the general information about the system, such as the dealer info, whether we want the screen locked, the date and time, and the language that it's in. Clicking the Display option allows us to decide how we'll record the outdoor temperature. Outdoor weather is on. Do we want it to come in through the internet 
or through the sensor on the equipment itself. Using the internet option allows us to display a full five-day forecast, an hourly forecast, as well as current trends and conditions. We can enable the proximity sensor so that when the system goes to standby mode or screen saver mode, as we approach the thermostat, it'll wake up, waiting for us to touch it and move on to the next function. We can select the screen saver we want. It can be off. It can be mirrored to monitor the weather and provide a screen saver. It can be set to mirror the weather from our weather forecast. It can display clouds or rain or a sunny sky to match the weather conditions that we're working with. It can show a logo or a picture. We can adjust the screen brightness and the temperature scale as well, or hit the clean screen option to give us 30 seconds to clean the screen without needing to be concerned about pressing any buttons, turning on or turning off any features. We can also come in and press the home information. And if we were connected to the server, we would display the information about our home, the address, the zip code, the city and state, which will all link together to provide our weather forecast. And we could also click the customer's account information here as well. To return back home, simply hit the icon in the upper left corner and you're back to your normal display.